gentlemen's freaks and ghouls welcome back happy halloween to the strange films podcast and yeah happy halloween here we are we're having a halloween special hell yeah we are i don't even know who i'm sitting here with yeah and you never will exactly uh i did a horrible job on my own makeup i'm just trying to one survive. of us had to make up for that, so. <laughs> I'm actually, if you see me squint my eyes like this, it's because it's actually burning my fucking eyes. <laughs> it's really, it's not pleasant, I'm not going to lie. I just wanted to do something fun and um, special for this episode because today, as you're listening, it is indeed Halloween. It is also the year anniversary of the Strange Films Podcast. It's just a big day all around. Flamingo came out today, guys. Uh, Blake Hall, who will be joining us here momentarily, his movie Fallacy should be coming out. Uh, what other? There's something else dropped uh, today as well. Right? Yeah, the teaser for The Shape 2. Ah, there it is. On you heard SYP it. Studios. I, don't I think know that's th- still the name of the channel. I think so. I don't know those guys, though. Yeah, they're Dude, a bunch of idiots, you know. Fucking losers. Yeah. Either way, <laughs> uh, Shape 2 trailer. Um, there's a bunch of shit coming out on Halloween. A Pure Evil, I think, is doing like a one-day release. So shout out Walter Buck over there. Yeah, I went to the premiere of that last week. It was pretty damn good. Yeah, Jordan was saying some good things about it. Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, squint to the eye. There we go. Okay, yeah, no, so congratulations, Walter Buck, for your... Uh, your uh, big release premiere and um and uh yeah hopefully maybe we'll get you on the podcast at some point but yeah so today is a spooky day and i figured there's no real theme or reason to do this but you know i'd love to talk about halloween in general i think because halloween is a it's one of my all-time favorite holidays you know i mean we're in the we're in the prime time as far as holidays go we got halloween thanksgiving and christmas it's the trifecta. oh like, yeah towards the end of the year you get swamped with holidays and it's honestly fantastic unless you work in shipping like i do and then it kills you yeah yeah retail shipping uh fucking um food service all that shit sucks so and but honestly the vibe of it Uh oh oh come in Uh uh-oh Oh shit! I still got my face back. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Here we are. Is that Lucas? Yes, it is. <laughs> All you revealed is identity. What's up, Blake? Hey, we just now started rolling. Oh. And we uh, and welcome. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hello. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. The shining, right on. We were uh, killing some time while you got here, and. Uh, so uh, we'll finish our thought real quick, and then you can come on in on the show here. Uh, what's your favorite thing about Halloween, and what's your favorite horror movie? Favorite uh, thing about Halloween, I just love the vibe. I love the fall colors, everything just blending together into this perfect, I hate the term, but spooky season. For real. And favorite horror movie is the original Candyman. Oh, that's an interesting choice. I just watched that for the first time, I think, a couple of years ago. I thought it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad it's not bad but it was i i need to re, i want to i first of all i need to rewatch it and i want to watch the uh the new one the new one yeah it, the new one it it's okay i think the ending is really rushed but i think the original just has such a really surreal like almost otherworldly tone and atmosphere to it and it's just one that i don't see in any other horror movies really okay that's yeah that what that came out in the 90s? 92. 92. The year I was born. Uh, that's a good choice. That's a cool. I don't think I hear a lot of people say Candyman is their favorite uh It's also movie. very influenced by Tony Todd. Tony Todd's a good, I mean, obviously, yeah. So, uh, is there, um, are there like certain Halloween movies that you feel like you always have to watch every season? Growing up, that was always Hocus Pocus, but uh, more recently, Trick or Treat. Oh, Classic. Absolutely. Dude, Sam in that movie is an icon, and I'm so glad that they're finally doing a second one. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. That's been an active, active development for a long time, so hopefully it actually It feels like off. it's picking up a bit more steam now, which... Stop yeah. dying. I know. Stop I already, I, I know. I, told, I was telling... <laughs> I was on the, when we announced the podcast, this makeup is actually kicking my ass right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's killing me. I don't know who you are. So I, I keep telling the listeners, if you see me squint, it's because it's burning my eyes, and I'm just I'm just powering through. Uh, all right, man. Well, um, thanks for filling in some time here. Thank you, sir. Happy Halloween. I uh, wish I had some candy. Yeah, taking this thing off. There too. it is. Oh! Son of a bitch. Reveal his identity to the world. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah, there he is. Can finally breathe. There he is. We got the Walter White underneath that mask. God there. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and now for Blake. And now for Blake. And Lucas is going to help produce the rest of the show. And he's going to throw us some fun games later. So, yes, I uh, am. So uh, thank you, Lucas. And Blake, come on in, man. Happy Halloween. Happy, Happy Halloween, Halloween, everybody. Are you going to ask a question? Let's <laughs> ask a question or two. <laughs> hey, there he is. Hey, what's what's going? I don't even what's recognize you, brother. I know. Ooh, dude, I love that. you. Make, I, do, I know it's a pain, but hey, it looks cool, man. Thanks, man. Well, uh, first of all, I butchered the makeup pretty bad, so it looks just like a random fucking mess. <laughs> oh, it looks crazy. Oh, yeah, I, I think I like the insanity I, I of look, it. I look crazy. It looks crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks nuts. You look like um, a movie character. Yeah, I look... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, well, I was trying to... First of all, I was like, you know what? I want to play like a skull or something, like a play off a skull. I got a cape. I was like, I'll just be like some sort of undead guy. So I just bought some black and white uh, makeup from Spirit Halloween. And I was so excited to try today. <laughs> and then I quickly realized, oh, yeah, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. So I just started smearing things on my face. <laughs> it turned gray. All this was gray at one point. So then I had to redo the makeup. Um, and, uh, yeah, now it's just burning my eyes to... In Inferno, and I'm sitting here uh, doing a podcast because I wanted to make it special. <laughs> Once this and podcast spooky. ends, it's gonna be. <laughs> oh yeah, dude! I wanted to make it special and spooky though. So, but thank you. So, hey, man, well, you, it uh, works. <laughs> thank you, man. Um, so we, we're uh, Jack Nicholson. I'm Jack Nicholson, and I know, and I'm kind of going for a bit of a combination of his eras in the movie because in the first earlier scenes, he's wearing a bathrobe and he just looks kind of crazy troubled. Yeah. Pretty much how I got in 2021. When I was making this movie, so I nice. kind of realized in time. Uh, here's the axe, and here's the part where he goes crazy. So, all right, like time axe. to kill. That that, time to kill that part of me off by being him for a day. That's a real axe. Yeah, that's dude. a real axe. Yeah. yeah damn, he's about to dude, try to kill us. It's in crazy, here. dude. Hey, <laughs> it's Heisenberg. Fucking axe. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I found you, Heisenberg. <laughs> look, I got. Look, this is. You better take that. Fucking SD card with you for the evidence, man. I mean, this is not more of this whole thing. Man. <laughs> <It's> our... <laughs> Oh, shit. Well, uh, you look great, man. Well, and, well um, cool, man. So cool I, to be I, here. I kicked off the show by announcing, of course, this is uh, today as you're listening. It's Halloween. Um, it's our year anniversary of the episode. We talked about the reflection of the last yep. episode. So today is just all about being spooky and fun, and we're having a good day. Uh, we had Flamingo coming out today. Now, uh, confirm with the audience, did did Fallacy come out today on Fa Halloween? Fallacy is coming out on Halloween, yes. yes it's coming okay. out today on Halloween. So, so today, check it out, Fallacy. It's out. Um, hope, you, hope you enjoy the show. We've been talking about it. Uh, it'll be on YouTube. It'll be on YouTube for now. Then it's going to be going to some theaters, and I'll be announcing all that in the time. Comes. But yeah, for now, yeah. YouTube is where to, where to find Fallacy. Right on, and I will put the link in the show notes for people cool. to watch because we've been talking about fallacy on this show for almost three years well i know <laughs> no, i've been in, in the, general in the show yeah. since you've been on yeah. the show though for like a couple months now easily on every <laughs> yeah. episode mentioning uh fallacy there so uh so yeah it's a big day big release for indie filmmaking uh and awesome. filmmakers friends in the area and uh yeah so but today you know for this show i thought we just Fucking talk about Halloween, spooky movies, you know, things Dude, like that. Yeah, so, it's getting the Halloween spirit. Wow, I keep man. squinting. Ah, it's one of my favorite, not favorite seasons of the year because of the move, love for movies, you know. And like, aren't, you know, you're a horror director, you know, and I'm yeah. increasingly going to, I want to grow into becoming something of a horror director in time. Mm -hmm. So you've got the map laid out, and this is one of the best seasons in, for exploring all that because it kind of just puts you in the spirit for Halloween movies. It puts you in the spirit for candy, all the things, and, and just, yeah, isolated atmosphere, all the scary. Yeah, the so scary let me ask you, um, whenever you were a kid, did you, like, like Halloween? Halloween horror movies, Loved like it. yeah, because oh, when I was a kid, I hated horror movies. Oh, like dude. I was so terrified of them. I always liked Halloween, but but I was also kid watching Disney Channel movies and uh -huh. fucking you know any sort of cartoon that had Halloween specials on it. Anything anything spooky, but it was like spooky friendly for me. You know, um, I didn't really start liking horror movies until I was like really in high school. So um, it was a long journey for me to that's be where I That's am a cool today. evolution to yeah. it, you know, because it sounds like you, in a way it's something of the mindset of you've embraced what you were afraid of once, and now it's like you're in love with it. Now you're obsessed with horror movies. Yes, there, like, it, yeah, I've grown to see, um, I've grown to see the beauty in it. I've grown to see like you. Can, there's almost like actually, I'm going to quote something from what I heard last night. So I was at the Highlands Horror Film Festival last night in Johnson City. Shout out Highlands Horror Films. For horror fest uh so big daddy voodoo was the host and he was talking about horror movies and how he started loving horror movies and i think uh he said something about like along the lines of like horror movies are are kind of like this dark reflection of like you look at yourself in the mirror like you don't you know you can always be scared of something you can always be like afraid of the world and things like that and then and when you're watching a horror movie it's kind of like you can release that 
that fear, that tension, and if someone else goes through it, it's kind of just like a sigh of like a deep breath, and and all your darkness and stuff. It's like you can kind of just like look at it, and it's looking right back at you, but you're yep. not afraid because it's you know yep. you're watching it. And I a think that's what I channel. the essence of what I learned from watching horror movies growing up. It's just like kind of just becoming indifferent about what you're afraid of. Literally, I think that's the what I'm what I'm looking for on a lot of movies. You know, it's yeah, like an and, indifference about fear. Yeah, and I think I've grown to like really appreciate different styles of horror because at first I think horror movies were always like, okay, what's the scariest thing that can you know, scare me and make it have like make me feel like a thrill out of it, you yeah. know. But now I'm like, subtle horror like really it's gets me best, going, dude. you know. I'm like, it's the best because I love creature features still. I Especially love like what, anything like really terrifying, but it's like, so most of your movies kind of feel like yeah, subtle horror. When yeah. you're watching something and you're like, oh, these are like real people going through like a really horrific situation and that could actually happen in real life, I think that's super scary. I mean, know? it's worth so. capturing because that's like exactly the, you know, we talked in the previous ones about how much you you love anxiety. You love your anxiety mm -hmm. and that's how it kind of comes right out because horror kind of is literally about anxiety in an essence. In, you a, know? Sense. It's a, in a sense, it's all about it, you know, and it's just like there's so many, you know, obviously many different portraits of it, but, you know, there's so many different movies out there that are just really scar in a certain kind of way or it's like they leave it just a really timeless impact on, on yeah you know there's so many so many of them different yeah. ones are diff work differently for different people but it's a it's such a big genre is the bottom line it's a huge genre and also it's a fantastic community to be a part of too i mean and to see the love and support of horror in general like yeah. you know there horror is one of those uh, genres that can be so forgiving too it's like you can make the cheesiest campiest worst bad horror movie but there's probably going to be some sort of audience that actually really likes it you yeah know, and wants to will cheer on you know cheer there's a unique essence of just it. putting some putting some just rawness into it you know i think mm. that's what horror kind of does too it's like it's so raw that i'm just like i want to get to know what was going on just in the behind the scenes almost it feels like a like it almost like an inside joke is playing out and that i think is the appeal of a lot of horror movies right. in a lot of ways because it feels like buddies got together and made something just wanted to make something so different from from who that's they were. the bare bones of making horror movies i mean yeah, george man. a romero sam raimi you know all these guys who just had no budget and just went to a fucking a location and was like we're gonna shoot and they just did you it. know something you know yeah, and, and that's something. that's that so it's become an epic legacy now now it's like okay everyone knows these right. movies. ever it's so popular and it becomes perfect to watch during the halloween season oh yeah because it's like they literally are just so freaking good at just getting right to your core right to your chilling bone. for sure so, like, spooky season, you know, we've got all the fall time, the beautiful aesthetics with the the leaves, and you got your pumpkin flavor, you got Sam Adams Oktoberfest, you've got things like that. I mean, what are what are some aesthetics about spooky season I'm that you really... I'm thinking about punk right now, honestly. Punk? I think punk rock yeah. actually is coming back oh, yeah. to me in a lot of ways, because I think that's the essence of aggression because you're talking about like you know it's a beautiful outside but it's like i'm feeling crazy and as an essence mm. so it's almost like i feel like a contrast to how beautiful it is out here as i think a lot of people and that's what halloween's intended to bring out in a lot of ways it's right. like bring out the madness in a person kind of so i think that punk rock is just sort of like and this is like a statement i've just feel like telling myself big time after finishing this project it's almost a bit of a fuck perfectionism i just kind of want to get raw and just get excited yeah. rather mm -hmm. about it and just you know like and I think I released a horror because that's what a lot of horror is kind of telling me too in a lot of ways. It's just a little bit more of a, like a fuck it perspective, you know. Let's right. just get wild and let's just let's let our madness out in the rawest way possible, yeah. you know. And that's why horror films can be love or hate in a lot of ways. A lot of people can hate how raw it is. It's just like whoa, where's the structure here? But that's kind of where it, a lot of people love about it. It's kind of groundbreaking because it's breaking rules literally. And it's just like, dude, it's kind of addicting to just get lost into something that's just completely breaking the rules of what traditional film is. You know, totally. that's the fun of it, man. That's the fun of camp. It's like yeah. it would be a little. Sometimes it's just like, dude, I need some camp in order to, you know, for the the, the spark to really happen. You know, yeah, it's got to be some yeah. camp value, right? Uh, yeah, no, I totally agree. Just like the, said in the last episode, like fuck the rules, dude. That's a, <laughs> yeah. it. Really is like it's true, that. man. It's that's like, whatever, that's the know. essence. But of it is a you know, I mean, what's the the lore of Halloween? It's like you know, spirits. Uh, the dead come alive for one night or something like that yeah. you know it's like i think it's always been like a, a mystique about the um the whole essence of the day of halloween and things like that you know the the one day where people can be either their, their true selves or hide behind a mask to yeah. you do something wild or whatever you know there's always like a little bit of a mischief that kind of feels like with halloween it's you know? like a way like, to yeah let some madness out yeah mm -hmm. like the mischief yeah that's a good way to put it mischief mm -hmm. it's just letting yourself just completely go into some just weird things you wouldn't never see anywhere else basically yeah. that's the essence of, and i feel like that's like strange films i feel like it's like 
because I feel like in a lot of ways, it, it, the Strange films, and it does so, like, I mean, the aesthetic of it feels like Halloween in a lot of ways. So I yeah. Feel, it feels like just very organic right now to that where, to via this time of the year, literally. Yeah. It feels like these movies are tailor-made for this kind of spook, you know, but... <laughs> hopefully, hopefully yeah. people uh, latch onto it like that. So. Yeah, and it's a year-long thing, too, all the same, but it's just mm-hmm. like, the scary season's the best. Though. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, definitely. Dude, I mean, who loves... Yeah, there's nothing better than just good horror in the for end sure. of the day. I think it really is the best genre. So growing up on Halloween, what were some costumes? What were character? Or what did you dress up on going trick or treating? So I did the dude a lot when my adult, uh, like kind of my twenties. <laughs> <laughs> dude a lot. <laughs> but growing up, I was Jack Sparrow quite a few times. Oh, really? Jack Sparrow was my favorite go-to for quite a few seasons because I was obsessed with that movie when I oh, saw yeah? it as a kid. Man, I was obsessed with Johnny Depp, and I was like, okay, I want to be like Johnny Depp basically growing up. in a mm-hmm. lot of ways, I actually thought that when I saw that movie. So okay, I would go around and like dress like a pirate all the time. Yeah, I definitely <laughs> trick or treated every single season as Jack Sparrow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that true. was a big one. Um, I'm trying to think who else man i think that was the biggest one i did um i did buzz lightyear a few times too oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah i did that when i trick-or-treated um but yeah the best story i think the dude is the, my favorite one and then now right. jack torrance i think there those are go. those are a little bit more my my aesthetic now yeah. so. lucas what about you what uh what kind of costumes were you dressing up as my favorite one was when i did a clone trooper from episode three Clone Trooper from Episode 3. Oh, nice. Cool. That's cool. That's pretty legit. Yeah, it was a terrible costume, but I absolutely loved it. Okay. <laughs> I had a bunch of friends go with me, so we were literally just the 501st. Okay, nice. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I was, um, I was like, a lot of Power Rangers growing up, and Dude, like, nice. uh, what else did I do? I think like I did like a Ninja. I was going to say Ninja Ninja Turtles. I remember you actually told me that one time. I think I did. I don't know if I did a Ninja Turtle. I know I did Power Rangers a lot. Ninja Turtle, or maybe Ninja Turtle once. Uh, I don't know. And I, I was never really good at being creative with Halloween costumes. I would always like get like whatever my mom would, you know, buy at Walmart or something like uh, that. But uh, I yeah. did Marty McFly one year. Oh, oh yeah, cool. that's cool. Where I just uh, thrifted around and got every single piece of that costume, and it was pretty accurate. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. That's what's up. Marty yeah. McFly is a good one to be. I was not for not for trick or treat, but I was once more McFly for a party. But that was that was a good, really good time. That was a different time. That, <laughs> that was, was a pretty different, different time. Yeah. yeah, that was like a that was like a music party. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. cool. That, that worked out pretty well. Yeah. So um, right with me. so yeah, no. Uh, Halloween's always a really fun, um, cozy time of the year. It feels wild and and uh, yeah, it's just a, it's a great time. So. What are some spooky movies that you like to watch every Halloween season? Oh, man. Well, I instantly go to um, – The Thing actually has been a big one lately for me. I need to That's a thing. bit different from a study. I, somehow I'm thinking of the coldness of like Halloween. Somehow that's been really resonating, mm. I think, lately. So that's a big one. And then The Shining's a big one, too. I mean, okay. That's, a, that's a, like a go-to. That's another one I need to rewatch. It's a bit too. of a, go, a, a, go, a go-to for me. Uh, and I would say now The Exorcist has come back to me as a, as a kind of a masterpiece. You know what? I started putting – so I watched The Exorcist for the first time um, – probably only like eight years ago or something like that maybe yeah something like that seven years ago and um thought it was all right you know i liked it but you know i never i didn't get like i i guess i guess i understood the hype of like when it came out back in the day how scary it would be you know back when i watched it i was like yeah it's all right you know whatever but i ended up rewatching it uh last month and i was like fuck this is really good <laughs> i was like yeah. i was like i think i'm gonna add this in my rotation every year now it's like um because usually I go to the John Carpenter original Halloween every year. I always I do trick or treat like you said. Um, I usually jump into uh, different stuff. Oh, I, I always I always revisit one of the different franchises, whether it's Friday the Thirteenth, Nightmare on Elm Street, or um, Scream. And this year I kind of did a little bit of Scream and Friday the Thirteenth and whatnot. But yeah, good stuff. You've never hike alone too yet. No, I keep uh, hearing some amazing things about it. I need to watch it. I haven't seen the first one either. Never hike alone. If anyone didn't hear that, so there's also a uh, prequel and a prequel. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, there's a, there's a lot of good fan films out there. So shape, check it out. How Michael Myers. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's uh, yeah. I tried it. I tried it probably about three years ago, four years ago. I was like, every day in October, I'm gonna watch a horror movie. You know, have you know, and try to try to watch as many horror movies as I possibly can. Yeah. But it's a lot harder. For, it's a lot harder than I thought. It, it was it, it's be. it's tough to do it, man, because I think like, I mean, I mean, like taking in that many horror movies at once is a lot, actually, because it's like horror movies are so psychological, and sometimes it's like they live in you. It's almost more about how you're looking at it outside of watching the movie in a lot of ways. Mm-hmm. And I feel like when, mm-hmm. outside of the horror movie, I'm just looking about in real life. I'm like, like, because I feel like doesn't your mind in the end kind of get to how do I? I almost want to re- remake the idea that I felt right. here. 
in my own kind of way entirely. So it's yeah. like I like to just get out and roam, and, yeah, after a horror movies and kind of in this time of the year, just yeah, really think well, about where, scary. yeah, kind of horrors. What kind of horror is is, is, is my flavor basically? Like yeah. you mentioned the thing, the shining. Oh yeah, ones. oh, Return of the Living Dead too. Man. Oh, that, that's a big that, one. That one. You actually, we first we time really I watched that, that, that was, was first like, time was, your place. Yeah, it was yeah. my place. That was a great time. That yeah, was such a fun night. Yeah, that was been on that's been on my list every every rotation dude, every year cool so. good choice the punk rock movie too that man. is a punk aesthetic yeah, dude punk i should rewatch hell. that uh-huh. that's definitely i've grown on me more it's and more so i'm getting fucking funny, 80s dude. freaking punk dude <laughs> it's so good yeah 80s punk aesthetic is where it's at right now yeah I think this year i also tried to watch in a lot of sequels i never watched before like i watched psycho 2 for the first oh, time how was that i never seen it it's actually all right you know is it? it's cool. like it's a lot different from i don't know hitchcock didn't direct it i don't believe no it came out in the 80s right? came out in the 80s i think yeah it came out like 23 years later or something like that, but what, but what was cool about it was the time, the setting in the movie was like twenty three years later. Also, so he's he's older. It's the same guy from yeah. um, the original movie. You know, he's just older and he gets out of the mental asylum. And there's like people trying. There's all these different things going on, and you know, he doesn't know if he's crazy or not. So it's a, really more of like a psychological like thriller than anything. Like trying to figure out if if he's you know tapping back into his you know mother's side of or things or not you know but it was it was interesting i just heard i, I was always reading like psycho 2 is an underrated sequel you know you should check it out so i was yeah, like oh, let me finally check too. it out so know, that's so. pretty cool that holds up man that's pretty awesome because anthony perkins is in it still right yeah yeah that's, Same that's, actor. that's yeah. yeah anthony perkins yeah so um oh and i watched uh just watched the new winnie the pooh movie oh how was that Pretty bad. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's I didn't pretty see bad. it. I wasn't too crazy about Winnie the Pooh. Uh, you, was, did you watch uh, a lot of the show growing up? Uh, I mean, just whatever. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I watched. I wasn't like a Winnie the Pooh like diehard fan. It was, but, I, like, it was always know, a always... It was never intentional or serious. What about you, Lucas? You were you into it? My parents always had that uh, VHS of the Heffalump movie. Oh, nice. <laughs> so that's the only thing I remember about it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey movie. You know, since he went public domain you know he they made a slasher out of it but i don't know it was like it was pretty yeah pretty boring in my yeah, opinion yeah, I, it yeah was, I mean like no it, offense to the guys who made it well course, dude but. here's the thing man i think we and we both have laid it out in previous podcasts i think the ultimate uh modern horror for all ages is Willy Wonka and the chocolate factory honestly because <laughs> <laughs> it is a horror movie <laughs> yeah really wonka dude it's it a is dark, a gnarly movie it's sick it's technically sark, dark as freaking saw in a yeah, way it is gnarly <laughs> it's like as the hell. same level of dark you never know what happens to those kids dude yeah because <laughs> yeah. you don't know for all we know it's like the same fate <laughs> yeah that that's what they should do with Willy wonka make a an actual horror movie with dude <laughs> I mean, they are making a new one, aren't they? With a, I don't think it is going to be that. No, it's like, it's like, like I'm, not, I'm not okay. I may see the it. The trailer looks kind of, eh, okay. also. I, don't know how I, I think it's like that. super musical this yeah. time around. It doesn't look psychotic enough. No. Uh, no, I want to see it get crazy. Like, they should really go full on horror with that. That Which, hey, honestly, dude, that could be in the books if we're freaking remaking that one day. Like, Maybe. If no one else does yeah, it. Like, in sure. a full on horror angle, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. just do something absolutely crazy with it. Right. Well, speaking of horror movies, Lucas has a little game for us that we're going to uh, try and play here on the show today, since uh, we're trying to be festive and fun. Uh, Lucas, do you want to best describe it? Yeah, so, here, get you this mic. All right, so this is what I like to call Guess the Kill. Guess the Kill. So, what I gathered is I gathered 11 clips from 11 different horror movies, some mainstream, a couple not. And basically, you're going to have to guess what kill, I like, what happened in the kill and what movie it's from. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty tough. Oh, I'm excited to see There's that. a couple very obvious ones. Like, the first one, I think Blake's definitely going to get. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> but, yeah, there's a few good ones in here. Okay. Cool. Right. I'm stoked. So, you got, on your, you got them on your phone here, I guess? You gonna... I meant to bring a speaker, but I forgot. That's all right. Ooh, this makeup is <laughs> burning, do. but yeah. we're okay. Up. We're out of ha- having fun here. Okay. <laughs> Axe it all off for the yeah. end. <laughs> Use his axe. <laughs> 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 one replay. One replay. Okay. All right. All right. Well, let's uh, let's see what happens here. Cool. And here it goes. Question one. <laughs> So should I just say the movie? Oh my god! I've I 
I don't know. Troll 2. Troll 2. Troll 2. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! It's been hilarious. I've never seen. I've never seen. Troll, oh, dude, it's about the campiest anything. movie ever yeah. made. Literally, I mean, it's a I whole like movie about. Like, oh my god! You would enjoy it, dude. It's about <laughs> over the top as it gets. Yeah, that, wow. that's kind of a modern punk classic in a way because it's literally so freaking crazy. It's somehow it's really entertaining the whole way huh. through. Uh, it's okay. actually kind of apparently the production of it was one of the most nightmarish productions on any. Movie. Really, the guy could hardly like really communicate with the actors in the, in the English language. I mean, it was like really? really like a mess as far as like a literally. Like, I think he was a guy who was just a complete communication breakdown and how to articulate. There's it. not wow. even trolls in the movie. They're called nil bogs. Like they got him at Walmart. Uh, <laughs> goblin backwards. Uh, wow. <laughs> it's like the big twist. Yeah, the kids like. Yeah. Wow. Huh. Okay. Yeah, that was it's, good. I was like, it's oh. worth watching. It's it's pretty crazy. Like, okay. and they made a documentary on it too called Best Worst Movie in the year 2009. Yeah. And that's like, yeah, that was, and you kind of see where everyone's at 20 years later with the movie. It's actually huh. really interesting to see how everyone's doing it, but that's a different take altogether. Okay. Troll 2 is the is the horror, and so that's, I guess, for now. <laughs> it, Troll 2. Check it out. Yeah, yeah I was great. like, I was like, I have no idea what that is. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so clip number two. Okay. Let's bring it, bring it, bring it a little closer. I want to make sure that I pick some audio up. How do you know she can't get in here? Shit, I've been living in this place more than 15 years, and she ain't never came in this motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Man. Uh, Dawn of the Dead? No, I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue. I don't know. So, would you like a hint? Sure, yes. You said that this was your favorite movie last year. My favorite movie last year? Uh, when I was on your podcast talking? Yes. Uh, oh, um, Barbarian. There it is. A kill, though. Um, this was when he... Uh, it's ah oh shit. It's the guy that they found outside, right? Or that he it's was... The homeless. It's the homeless guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't... I can't remember the kill, to be honest, but... Uh, so... She bursts in there, choke holds him, and then rips his arm off. Okay, that sounds about right. There you go. What a great movie. Did you ever watch Barbarian? I never did, actually. Damn, you gotta watch yeah, it. Yeah, I need to you see that. Watch it. I need it's to see it. so good, yeah. dude. Okay. No, I, I'm sorry. I take it back. I saw it once. It was a, it was just like a quick... I actually like that movie a lot. The aesthetic. I need to see it again to take it in a little yeah, better. That yeah. was my feeling about it. It, it was just a really quick viewing. I didn't like get it's the... Gnarly. Yeah, yeah, it's gnarly. I didn't really get to see like every bit of it. That, that just, was a good clip. Okay, cool. I'll see most of it. All right, ready for number yes, let's do it. That's just gory. <laughs> uh, that was very gory. Um, I don't sounds know. Sounds like something like Saul. Would you like the year it came out? Sure. 2010. 2010. Ooh. I saw the devil? Nope. Mm, I don't know. Would you like one of the stars? Yes. Alan Tudyk. Alan Tudyk. Um, shit. I don't know. No, I don't know. This is the wood chipper kill in Tucker and Dale versus Evil. I've never seen it. Uh, Dag gum. Tucker and Dale versus <laughs> I Evil. I have seen that that once. That was pretty good. That was a long time ago. Damn. That, I just it's I a really good horror comedy. I wanted to watch. It's on. It's on my queue. I was about to watch it the other night, dude. Yeah, I heard like so many good things about it. It's yeah. pretty good, dude. They made a show about it too. Like, yeah, they did? I believe so. Yeah, it's huh. only like a season. I heard it wasn't as good, really. But it's oh. yeah, the movie's definitely the best part. But, okay, <laughs> Tucker and Dale versus Evil. All right. We're getting our asses kicked on this game. I know. I figured, <laughs> okay. yeah. Or you can kick your ass. Very obvious one. Okay, hopefully for me. Same. Garbage day. What the I hell? know the clip. I've seen this clip, but I'm I, it, I'm recalling the title right now. It is slipping me at the moment because <sighs> I've seen that clip. And that's hilarious, and I've heard that whole movie is pretty hilarious. I don't know it. I've never heard it. 
I'm really bad at this. I'm not a. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying this to. Is a horrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to. Dude, I know this clip. Yeah. I'm, thinking I'm about having it. fun. I, wa- I like. Too. I like. I'm having fun. This. No, I it's like okay. Yo, it's okay. Go through it. I like it anyway. Um, like, dang. A horror sequel. Okay. And it is based around a holiday that is not Halloween. It's gonna bug me if I, once you say the title. Christmas. So. Not... Gremlins. No. Ah. Dang. So it's a series throughout the '80s, isn't it? Um, got a lot of shit in the 80s for featuring a uh, character that not many people wanted to see horror. Garbage Pail Kids Day? No. No, no. Uh, I don't know why I was about to say Halloween. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what the you? hell? Get out of here. I got a how'd, you, <laughs> how'd you get in here? Here's Bandit. Here's, Here's Bandit. Bandit. He bars right Come in here. the door. Get Better here. than this axe oh, could have done. This is an all around. Oh, my Crazy. God. This is all around crazy well, episode, everybody. Okay. Just ask for it. Hello. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So this is just the garbage day clip from Silent Night, Deadly Nights. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I would have thought of that title. But that's, uh, yeah, now I was I, almost yeah. gonna say uh, Black Christmas or something. Oh, that's a good one. I, oh, that that would have been a good one. Oh, it's, yeah, that was original. Yeah, that was groundbreaking. Hi, Bandy. Hello. Yeah, that movie is like eighty percent clip show cool. of the first movie. Okay. So it's. Pretty terrible, but it, the parts that are original to it are really funny. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I never saw that movie. Never. Yeah, never I didn't see it. the whole thing. All right, ready for the next one? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and start. Now, you've seen how bad things can get and how quick they can get that way. Well, they can get a whole lot worse. So we're not going to fight anymore. We're going to pull together and we're going to find a way to get out of here. Oh. First, we're going to seal off this. I got it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> He's it. Deep Blue Sea. Sam Jackson's death in Deep yes. Blue Sea. Yes, yeah. dude. Yeah, I remember watching that movie uh, as a first, uh, first time as a kid, dude, and that scared the shit out of me with that shark jumping up and eating old sand. Thank God you answered. You know what? I would have seriously said snakes on a train because I didn't see that. What? <laughs> I didn't see the one. I just heard about both of them play, a lot. Are snakes on a plane there? Yeah, I never <laughs> saw it. Yeah, I just would have guessed. Deep Blue Sea, dude. Yeah. yeah, there we go. I never saw that. It's it's a good movie. It's good. Uh, yeah, the animatronics I, are fantastic. Yeah, I haven't Dang. seen it in a long time. That's That deserves a rewatch. Dude, yeah. that's a big old shark attack movie, that's isn't it? a big it? old shark attack. Oof, that's right. Yeah. yeah, Deep Blue Sea. He's like, yeah, he's he's like, it's a nice little monologue he's trying to have, and then he just gets <laughs> ri- get, just yep. gets eaten right <laughs> off the, uh, the fucking thing. Dude. Oh, it's man, so I good. need to see that. Yeah. My favorite fact from that movie mm. is that they reused the shark animatronic for the second Anchorman movie. Oh, really? Oh, that's wow. interesting. That's funny. Yeah, I remember that. That movie's pretty bad. Anchorman 2. Yeah, it wasn't too good. Yeah. <laughs> the joke's really... The first one's amazing. First yeah. one? Oh, yeah. That's a classic. For yeah, sure. the second one, they just... All the jokes... It was just a cheap rehash. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. All right. That's a... That was a... That's a fun... That's a, that was a twist. All right. So you got two. You got one. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, Blake, do you know that one? I really don't. You don't know that I one? I actually don't know it. It's you. Yeah, that's uh, the li- that's the old Lions Den in 2020. <laughs> oh, shit. Really? Oh, you have to know it. Yeah. That was pretty funny. Dude. Oh, yeah. I was like, you wow, that's good. That was Lions Den. Whoa. <laughs> I wow, that's amazing. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, you know nice. what? And shout out Lions Den. We just won two awards last night at the Highlands. Oh, what's Award. up? Nice. Yeah, dude. So, Congratulations. Uh, you sent me that you just watched it at the festival. I was like, shit, he's going to know this. Yeah, yeah, of course, dude. <laughs> yeah, after, yeah. Yeah, that was the kill where um, it, Michael Mathis, uh, you know, dad, he's he whistles at him and he goes and runs after Jesse's character and he's like, Rah! That was a good one, man. Yeah, yeah that was chaotic. Yeah. So, uh, Lions Den. That's, that's Holds funny. up, man. Awesome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> awesome. Congratulations on the uh, awards. Thank you. Thank you. Next clip. All right.
to say Lord of the Rings. That sounds like all the. F- I know it's not. It is horror. It is horror. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know why the music would remind me of something. From it horror. sounds like a very like late nineties, early two thousands kind of movie. <laughs> yes. What year? Twenty twelve. Oh. Twenty twelve. Okay. Hmm. Who's in it? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. No, I mean, just I'm, I'm gonna think it through for. The Avengers? No, it's a horror movie. Oh yeah, no uh, shit. Cabin in the Woods. No shit. Ah, shit. Oh. Um. That is not. It's the mermaid. The mermaid. Okay. Yeah. That's a movie I need to rewatch. Yeah, Cabin seen. in the Woods, though. That is an excellent movie. That is a good you one. Seen, yeah, I saw you it. See, that was yeah. good. I saw a like, theatrical nice, release. Nice, man. You're pulling, you're, These you are got, good ones, you man. You got some deep cuts, bro. Seriously, bro. Yeah, that was you got a, some deep cuts. challenging me, bro. This is okay. hard. All right. Next clip. Let's do it. Got fucking dog hair on me. All right. Screw you, Paul. Now, I know this is Friday the 13th, but I don't know. I'm trying to think of what part. I've only seen the first one, so I'm just going to say You've only the, seen the first so Friday I'm gonna the 13th? Co- I'm only going to copy you and say that one, and that's oh, probably you're wrong. Oh, yeah. dang. I know. I need to see more. What? You've never seen all the Friday 13th? I know. I know. <sighs> I know. <laughs> I deserve to be axed from this. I'm about to take that real axe, dude. <laughs> uh, okay. Is it part three? Four. Ah, God, my final chapter that was not <laughs> okay. I know four, five, and six are my favorite ones, too. Um, this is the kill when Samantha gets stabbed from underneath the boat. Okay, okay, yeah, damn, wow, good, that was nice. Yeah, dude, you gotta watch them, man. Dude, I know. So, part one is, is obviously like classic. Signature. I was surprised how good that was, actually. I really enjoyed I really loved that one, yeah, but like, you know, it's well like directed. Jason doesn't even come in until like part two, really. You dude, know? And then, like, he better. doesn't get his hockey mask till part three, dude. and then whoa, dude, part four, five, six are peak, they're they are so good, and then probably my yeah, four and five are like killer, yeah. I mean, um, I'll cram a few in here before Halloween comes, yeah, dude, <laughs> they are really worth watching. Like, yeah. I mean, the Tommy Jarvis trilogy is just yeah. Awesome. And obviously, like after six, it kind of gets goes downhill a little bit, especially like. Actually, I like. I actually care. I actually like. Uh, take Jason takes Manhattan a lot too, though. Really? Yeah, I do like that one. Um, Jason goes to hell. Can go to hell. Uh, <laughs> uh, Jason X is campy as fuck. Kind of fun, but uh, yeah, yeah. There, I mean, it's it's worth it's worth watching. Uh, yeah, for yeah. Sure. I, need, I need to do it. Yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah it's gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. right on. Watch part six and then the Never Hike Alone trilogy because they have Tom Matthews. In yeah, that's pretty killer. Yeah, that's pretty killer. So. All right, good deal. What we got next? I will be surprised if either of you get this one. Okay. Sounds good. If that'll load. Where's Ira? Horace? What's going on out there? There's a woman here. She said she's the Brady kid's mother. And I think she killed Don Robertson. Slow down, Horace. There's blood everywhere! <laughs> Vegetables, no dessert. Huh. Okay. I feel like I heard that line before. No vegetables, no dessert. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking. I, I really don't have an immediate answer on that. Honestly, I kind of just want to show you the clip. Show us the clip. Yeah, because yeah, I don't know. This is from the 1992 Stephen King adaptation of Sleepwalkers. Oh, I ever saw that. Dude, fuck, I just watched that movie. The cat people... Yeah. Yeah, I just watched that. Like three Bro, re- Yeah, dude. <laughs> this is the dumbest Let me movie. dude, let me re- let me watch this clip cuz then I'm going to What's going on out there? There's a woman here. She says she's the Brady kid's mother. That's right. And I think yeah. She's Don Robertson. Slow down, Horace. There's blood everywhere. That's <laughs> right. I forgot the corn on the cob. Yeah, dude. You're going to have to show this as a clip. <laughs> oh, dude. Dude, and that because okay, because I did, I just re I just watched that for the first time, um, like three weeks ago or whatever. And the reason why I watched it is because I saw someone on like Twitter or whatever, and and I've been wanting to watch more Stephen King adaptation movies. Yeah. 
So I was like, let me check this out. And I watched it. It was all right, you know, not too bad. But what I thought that was so fucking weird was that those cat people, those sleepwalkers was uh, the mom and the son were like, yeah, that was so weird, dude. I was like, why is this happening again? <laughs> like, and then it, the movie is really standard and then it has bursts of insanity. Yeah, yeah. Like when it's slow, it's slow. When it's like the drama stuff is like really happening, you're like, okay. But then like it gets gnarly as hell in some certain parts. But yeah, it's oh, an interesting man. movie for sure. <laughs> that sounds crazy, dude. Yeah. Shitload of horror directors in it. Like Sam Raimi makes a cameo, oh, Toby sweet. Hooper. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. yeah, like all of the police officers, Mark Hamill's there for like two seconds. Dude, I didn't realize all that. Oh, wow. Huh. Yeah, it's full of. Yeah, I was watching it just randomly one night, and I was just like, yeah, let's see what this is. I even, wasn't even paying attention to all that. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, Sleepwalkers. That That's a cool clip. That, I forgot about the well, – as soon as I started seeing that clip, I was like, the Korolkov. Oh, my God. Oh, right on. All right, what do we got next? This one's a bit of a trick question. Okay. That's all we get on the Trick question, guys. Sick of boy. <laughs> Do you know that one? I really don't. Okay, I Supernatural, end of season th- three. Yep. Yeah. Oh, TV show. Oh, this dang. Yep. First death. Dean's death, and because he gets eaten by the fuck or the yeah, the fucking uh, hounds or whatever, or whatever, whatever, the hell hounds. They come finally after for his soul because the whole season he's they've been trying to fight uh, for him not to go to hell, and they they try their fucking damnedest, but. That's a brutal scene. That's a that's emotional as hell too. Thank you for picking that clip, dude. That dude, Supernatural seasons one through five is chef's kiss in fucking perfection, dude. I'm uh, rewatching those right now. I'm in season two, right, dude? Too. Those are some of the best fucking episodes. Like that first couple seasons, and then like three. Four... Intro. Oh yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Well, dude, that that show was intended to be five seasons. Eric Kripke wanted it to end at at the end of what happened you know in, in season five but it was just so popular they're yeah, like they're the like we're d- yeah and they, that's that's why eight, six and seven are kind of like oh they're hard to get through and then i think it starts picking back up a little bit in eight but eight i never got seven, I, think, are really good. I never got past 10 so i gotta i gotta finish it trudge through 10 get to 11 and yeah. then don't watch anything else <laughs> there we go <laughs> Yeah, Supernatural. Yeah, I, I, as soon as I heard that, I was like, oh, that's it. Yeah, that's that. Right on. And this next one's just kind of a bonus clip. Okay, here we go. I'll just show this to you. I don't know what to do. All right, look, Hands I'm behind your back and <laughs> knees against the vehicle. <laughs> I said hands behind your back and lean against the vehicle. Come. I just pulled my whole belt off, man. Oh, that's a blooper. <laughs> now you can't run. I got two stones. I wish, I wish my pants fell at the same time, man. That would have been the full vaudeville. <laughs> Jesus. That's fun. Did you ever watch his, their film? No. Yeah, never so saw that, it. Was, that was their film, Stop. Oh, cool. SYP Studios. Uh, that's a nice. That's a fun blooper, though. Joe Castellani, Corey Davison. That's the only blooper. Oh, Oh yeah, only blooper. Yeah, so um, no, that's a uh, it's a good movie. It's a really good movie, but yeah, that's a. Uh, um, <laughs> What's it called one more time? Uh, stop. Stop. That yeah. Uh, sure to watch that. Yes. Oh, dude, but yes. I need to watch all that. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, actually, the last time I was on here was like a month before it came out. Yeah, it's true. It's almost been a year since yeah, it's it all. 10, views that's crazy nice. congratulations man that's great nice, dude congratulations that's awesome yeah you guys should check out stop on youtube and uh yeah over ten thousand views now almost ten thousand views but yeah lucas's directorial debut uh it's got our boy uh joe Casterline in it Corey dude. davison is in it jordan fraley makes a little small appearance but he obviously yeah uh, yeah right uh oh, what kind of movie is it like, like genre wise it's not fun horror uh, mm. i'd say it's a lot more like uh drama 
I'd say a lot more along the lines of uh, tone wise as Devil Rejects. Dude, that's awesome. Oh, that's unique. Yeah, it's uh yeah, it's pretty good. It's um yeah, I mean for especially for being Luke's first, you know, direct Tutorial debut. It's a it's a good movie, but yeah, it's doing really well on YouTube right now. Dude, so right on. That's cool. Uh, thanks for showing us the blooper on that. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you definitely uh, won the game. Well, yeah. yeah well, I didn't know a lot of those. Things, <laughs> yeah, so I was bad at that. I knew I I, I had a feeling that was going to go that way. Yeah, <laughs> games are so hit or miss. I'm like, yeah. Sometimes I'm like, I'm just I don't know any of these. Things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. No, it was fun. We uh, that. that was that was fun. Thanks for thanks for provi- for providing all the clips and uh, giving us some giving us some entertainment here. So. It was fun trying to see you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, my eye is itching. Oh, I can't wait to wipe this fucking makeup off. Okay. Um. Yeah, so what other thoughts we have about Halloween, guys? Anything? I mean, you're... yeah. I mean, I'm just, it's a good time. To, it's a good time of the year. I don't have anything too big, big yeah. about you, Lucas. Lucas, have any other thoughts? You want to take the mic for a second? There was this one time I was trick-or-treating, and I actually did get a rock from a house. So I understand how Charlie Brown felt. <laughs> um, did any of you guys ever do anything mischievous on Halloween or when you were young, like during? Like, yeah, because I used to roll people's houses. You know, go to TP. Oh know, yeah, I've done d- houses. Dude, I used I've to. Done that. Um, well, I did a lot of horrible shit when I was a kid. But I'm, I, I got. I, uh, oh really? That's yeah, pretty wild. Okay. Threw a golf ball at someone's window once. Wow, that's <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, I didn't do it. My friend did. My my, my friend did it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but like I was with him, so I basically did it too because I was with him. Yeah, we uh, we I think the worst we did we, we actually silly string someone's fucking brand new truck, and that was yeah, that was pretty brutal. <laughs> yeah, don't come at me. <laughs> hey, I was a dumb kid, dude. We uh, we we. I hope so. I don't know. I I, no, I really don't know. God, I hope. I hope not. I hope insurance covered <laughs> whatever happened. That was, this is like twelve years, fifteen years ago, something like that, dude. So get off me. Uh, I used to, yeah, but on Halloween we used to um, go roll people's houses with toilet paper. Dude, that was, right that on. Was That's our big thing good. that we, we like to do, and and uh, we're pretty good at it too. Right on, yeah. dude. That's a lot of fun. Yeah, someone used to get me big time. Like almost like every freaking week, someone used to get me. There was like a phase where they would get me like that doesn't tennis range. Uh, someone would get out of my house like every single freaking really? weekend. Really? Yep. I know. That's what I'm saying, and that's literally what I told him. I was like, I was like, whoever did this, thank you, <laughs> thank you for for. I don't have to go out to the store for a while for wow. this stuff. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh no. Dated. That's a dated <laughs> end now. Dated end of the barrel now. Like gold bricks at <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Real. Literally. No. That's a godsend. <laughs> uh, well. Um, yeah, well, you know, I, I I love spooky season, and now as soon as, uh, after, uh, today is I retire the spooky cape and the makeup, and I go into full-on Christmas mode. I, uh, I get, I get super cozy, and, and I love Christmas, and I know Thanksgiving's the first, and I like to take my time getting to Christmas, but I can't help it, man. I get real, like, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's time. Christmas, I'm excited it's for Christmas. For holidays, I am yeah. really excited. Dude, we're just, in that, it's in that spirit. I mean, even, like, the Thanksgiving season, but Christmas, I really can't wait uh-huh. to get to. Yeah, that's going to be big Yeah, this we year. should come up with another uh, yeah, holiday-themed episode. Yeah, we should know. figure something out. With more preparation. We're, what's that? Come as dressed like the guys in the knives out. Oh, yeah. Uh, there we right? go. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, but we wanted just uh, to hang out on Halloween with you guys and do a uh, spooky-themed episode, talk about Halloween, horror movies in general. Thank you, uh, Lucas, for providing a little game with us. I wish I had more. uh, Yeah, well, (laughs) I stuck out of it. I don't care because that's fun. (laughs) I kind of like to look bad sometimes anyways. (laughs) Uh, I I wish I had more uh, thought into uh, today, but uh, no, it was cool, man. Last night, like I said, we came in from the Horror Film Festival, which was really cool. Johnson City uh, treated us really well. I think one thing I wanted to note about that was, like, man, like, you talk about horror movies, and, you know, I'm seeing these student films that kids are, you know, 19, 20, 21 years old are making, and they're phenomenal, dude. They're really fucking good. We're in a dude. good way for cinema. I'm telling yeah. you, man, 2020s, I think, this decade, if you're a filmmaker, if you have an eye for film, this is pretty revolutionary, and you're probably going through a revolutionary perspectives on everything yeah. that you've done before and are doing moving forward. You know, it's happened to me, it happened to you, because I've always been a film geek, so I don't, you know, this, is always been, this has been a big process. Of, this is, sorry if I'm changing the subject too much, but I guess the process has been one big being a film geek to just being like a film director, you know, and I'm excited oh, yeah. to talk to you about kind of how this felt for you after you made Stop. 
Um, like, like, do you kind of feel like you went through like this full evolution? Like, kind of feel like a, you feel like a different, almost like a reformed a little after you did it. It was like, oh wow, I didn't realize how uh, how much work went into doing every single bit of the directing duty. It catches up, man. <laughs> I bet for you, I mean, it kind of, kind of kind of caught up afterwards more than it did in the moment. Maybe for both of you, it's like that because it's kind of kind of showing you probably just you're probably going on a big adrenaline rush while you're making it. Oh, absolutely. I and afterwards, since you see it so much. It's just I have so many regrets about what I could have put in there, what I could have taken away. Like, There's always, yeah. My biggest thing is I really wish that I would have cut back on the music. Mm. Have it just be a lot more unpleasant with the uh, sound effects doing a lot of the heavy lifting, uh-huh. kind of like a No Country for Old Men. That's aesthetic, right? Yeah, that's yeah. perfect. That's like, yeah, that's a perfect like modern foundation. Like, a, yeah, I, I, that's really cool. Which I yeah. only saw that movie for the first time about a month ago. Oh, really? Oh, that's amazing. Dude. That's a masterpiece. Only movie that has actually given me a nightmare. Oh, wow. It's terrifying. It's not even a horror movie, but it's yet scarier than about most horror movies in a strange way, isn't it? Like, Because Anton Chigurh. Yeah, he's the devil, dude. Mm-hmm. He's literally Satan and a reincarnated by a character. It's crazy. And he gets away with it. Yeah, the bad wins, literally. It's crazy. Pretty fucking gnarly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a great yeah. movie. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, it really is like a great time for horror. Uh, I mean, obviously, we're seeing a lot of success in the indie industry right now. Uh, horror communities are really like supporting each other. Uh, obviously, all all of us we have a lot of support with what we do and things like that. And I was just watching those movies last night, and I'm like, man, these these guys like these students who have the resources are making the most out of it right now. I mean, they are telling stories they want to tell. They're fucking making it look great. They're sounding great. They they're uh, having fun with it, and I was like, I was really impressed. I really was. I was like, holy shit! I, I uh, dude, I, lo- I love where film's going right yeah, now, dude. It's I'm really a, cool, that's and it made me like honestly a little insecure about what I was doing. I was like, is, what the fuck I think am that's I a, doing? And, <laughs> you know, that's it, man. I, I think that's a great feeling because in a way, I'm like, yeah, what the hell am I doing? I'm all right. Yeah, yeah, in time, that's like, yeah, something new kind of happens because I'm a little like frustrated that I don't understand the new yeah. the new way exactly. You just yeah, you know, in a lot of ways. I, I don't know. I just um, that's why I became a recluse for a while. I'm like, I don't really get it yet. So let me kind of be shy so I can be Jack Torrance for, about it for a little right. bit. Then I get the madness out. Now I got it. Okay, now let's get the new, kind of more of a, a modern wavelength on it. Yeah. 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 Um, I, I love how the horror industry or perspective of everything, like just, it, it does feel like every decade there's a whole new wave of it's a new wave. Some, some sort of cool new styles or way of storytelling. A lot um, of revolutionary ways are coming out. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, it's like, sure. there's a lot of, there's a lot out there for sure right now. Yeah. So. So congratulations uh, to Highland Horror Film Festival. Thank you again for having us and uh, supporting the Lions Den and everything. Uh, congratulations to all the, the students uh, at ETSU. You probably never listened to this, but saying it anyways. And, uh, um, yeah, man, uh, uh, thank you for coming out of and course, hanging of course. out with me on Great Halloween. Great to hang out, uh, man. Great to be here. Lucas and coming by, hanging out, awesome. and uh, throwing us the game there. I'm going to – Probably watch a horror movie tonight. And yeah, that's a spirit, dude. <laughs> taking the kid trick or treating on Halloween, and I, 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 on Halloween night, I always do rewatch the original John Carpenter Halloween. Though it's just like my tradition. So. Yeah, dude. So doing that, and um, yeah, get ready for the next couple months of holidays after that. So, um, yeah. Any, any final thoughts, anyone? I think that says it all for me. Okay. Watch Fall of the House of Usher on Netflix. I- hearing really good things about that yeah what uh fall of the house of usher yeah on netflix yeah i keep hearing really good well, things I, I guess we're going down that real rabbit hole i'm gonna i'll also throw in uh kills of the flower moon again my oh, new yeah, Martin's you got, he I, just dude what do you think in a nutshell gene yeah it's absolutely ma- a masterful yeah i thought that was scorsese on top to your form it's literally a new movie for him a different kind of movie it was one of the most uncomfortable theater experiences i've ever had Dang. I loved every yeah it is like <laughs> perfectly put it is uncomfortable it's very chilling yeah very dark Dang. Perfect. Perfect movie. Need, uh, yeah, Dude, Nero's know. never been darker, literally. Oh, like yeah? It's crazy how dark... I wanted to bitch slap someone more than in that movie. Yeah. Dang. He is... Yeah, I mean, I, I just to say too much would be to spoil it. So it's just just know that De Niro is a next-level psycho in this. Okay. And DiCaprio is pretty crazy, too. He's, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I'm i behind on Scorsese films, for sure. Yeah, he's uh, the man. Still haven't watched The Irishman. Oh, um, I love The Irishman. That was, that was great. Oh, that's oh, amazing! Well, I love it's a good that movie, movie though. After I, I love after hates hours. that movie, but dude, it's so, so good. different. It's so different than anything else I wrote. He's done. A it's perfect. Based off of heavily inspired by After Hours. Which one know? was it again? Um, I can't. Uh, I don't know if I. 
Yeah, I showed. I like it. We I talked had, about I had it. to show it to you. It was like it was the movie about um, where the guy like has the promoter or he, the guy teams up with the promoter who brings in like this act and he, the act's all crazy. He wants him to go get drugs and stuff, and he's like, yeah. it's it's like a. They just keep continuing. I remember into, like, that. Yeah, dude, because that's another. a distinctive yeah, aesthetic. Like, I love After Hours. Yeah. That's a different aesthetic than Martin Scorsese. It's almost like a weird surrealist outlook yeah. on, on, on the on you New York watch, City. You, you, so you've never seen Taxi Driver? Oh, right. Oh, man, it's one of the best character Taxi studies, Driver, dude. Oh, it's intense. <laughs> King of Comedy. King of Comedy is a mother's uh, Also, really deceivingly dark. Like, you don't expect it to be that dark, but that movie it's haunts fucking, me. Yeah. I think I'm like, that's actually a perfect masterpiece. It's so disturbing. I mean, because yeah, it's like, holy God. Yeah, there's the a lot is really of, frightening. There's a lot of scenes in that where you're like, it's it makes you feel a little uncomfortable because it's just like. Sometimes we go through. I'm like, dude, De Niro plays some bad, ki- yeah. rotten characters, man. Yeah, Holy yeah, God, yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah, next level. I mean, you'll see it in the key of comedy and Taxi Driver. Like Raging in the sense, right? Was it which one? Raging Bull. Yeah, oh, Raging Bull. Oh, he's a Bull's bastard. Movie that oh, I he's love a that. Fucking asshole. He's such and, a bastard. And that movie makes me feel like. Ugh, because like, you have to he, sympathize he with this so bastard. With, he gets so mad watching it. Yeah, yeah you have to almost laugh at it. Cause it's like he literally just mistreats like everyone for over nothing. It's because his ego can't handle being a mid a mid tier star. Yeah. Basically, can't handle being. It's like being like the angry middle child in a situation, and he just right. literally blows it because of that. His his temper is so bad off off the stage. Yeah, yeah. He treats everyone like like ass basically. Uh-huh. Like, who cares about him? Yeah, it all goes down the shit. No. <laughs> yeah, that's what he deserves. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, uh, with that said, I guess we will wrap up the Halloween special. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Let us know what your favorite Halloween movies are every year to watch, or what you're watching now. All these good things. Uh, if you want more games, and uh, I'd love to keep doing random fun yeah, do more. Kinds of episodes. These, these are fun times, you know. Uh, and hopefully, I can get something. Better than this fucking butch, <laughs> butchered ass makeup. I mean, it looks cool, but you're suffering so I'm much. I'm suffering. You're suffering. I cannot wait to wipe this thing off, dude. dude hey, <laughs> I'm man. Dying. Like I said, I'm taking this axe and just. <laughs> there we go. Just scrape my scrape face. Scrape it please. off. There we go. A jester. I was going for like a skull at first, and then I was like, well, maybe I'm a clown. I don't fucking know. Dude. I have. I bought a cape. <laughs> <laughs> I bought a fucking cape, dude. I don't even know what the cape is for now. And I'm like, that's just white and black and a cape. And so here we are. It'll be a it'll be a good clip. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so um, that that's it. Happy Halloween, everybody. And with that said, we will see you next time. Until next time. Jack. Oh, 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 oh,